students this is ms momita from thakur vidya mandir high school and junior college welcome you all to online teaching 2020 2021 today we are going to study about chapter 1 8 standard living world and classification of microbes now as you know children to understand this living world and classification of microbes we need to understand about biodiversity the process of dividing living organism into groups and subgroups is called biological classification now coming to the need of classification classification is needed for convenient study of living organisms it is necessary for knowing the varieties of organisms it helps in correct identification of various organisms and it helps to know the origin and evaluation of organisms now to better understand this biological classification of living organisms so you need to know about this five kingdom system of classification in this five kingdom system of classification the living organisms are first classified into prokaryotes and eukaryotes now the prokaryotes are basically unicellular in nature and kingdom monera belongs to the prokaryotes now coming to the eukaryotes eukaryotes are basically unicellular and multicellular in nature under the unicellular category comes kingdom protista and under multicellular category comes kingdom fungi kingdom plantae and kingdom animalia now to understand better about kingdom monera kingdom protista fungi plantae and animalia we are going to have a detailed study of all those now coming to the criteria for classification now the criteria for classification are complexity of cell structure now complexity of cell structure generally refers to prokaryotes and eukaryotes complexity of the organisms refers to unicellular or multicellular organisms next coming to mode of nutrition according to the mode of nutrition there are generally three modes of nutrition the first is autotrophic mode of nutrition the second is saprotrophic mode of nutrition and the third is heterotrophic mode of nutrition next coming to lifestyle now lifestyle in this it is being categorized into plants as producers animals as consumers and generally this bacteria and fungi as decomposers last we are going to discuss about phylogenetic relationship which compiles all the prokaryotes and eukaryotes and unicellular and multicellular organisms now already beforehand we have already discussed about that five kingdom classification of living organisms in which i told you that we are going to have a detailed study of all the kingdoms now coming to the first kingdom that is monera all the organisms under the kingdom monera are unicellular they may be autotrophic or heterotrophic these are prokaryotic cells without distinct nucleus or cell organelles and the examples of this kingdom monera are all types of bacteria and blue green algae next we are going to discuss about kingdom protista 
Protista are single celled organisms with well defined nucleus enclosed in a nuclear membrane. They have pseudopodia or hair like cilia or whip like flagella for locomotion. Locomotion means movement. Example autotrophs, euglena, volvox, heterotrophs, amoeba, paramoecia. Autotrophs are the organisms which can produce their own food and heterotrophs are the organisms which depend on others for food. Next we are going to discuss about kingdom fungi. These are non-green eukaryotic heterotrophic organisms. Most of them are saprotrophs. The meaning of saprotrophs are the organisms which derive their nutrition from the dead organisms. Their cell wall is made up of chitin. Some fungi are thread-like and many nuclei are present in cytoplasm. Example, penicillium and mushroom. Now coming to the classification of microbes. The first category we are going to discuss is bacteria. Bacteria are unicellular independent organisms. They reproduce by simple binary fission. Bacterial cell is prokaryotic with the cell wall but distinct nucleus or cell organelles are absent. Next we are going to discuss about the protozoa. Protozoans are found in soil, fresh water and sea water. These are unicellular organisms with a eukaryotic cell. These organisms reproduce by simple cell division. There is a great variation in cell structure organs of locomotion. Examples are amoeba and paramotion. Next we are going to discuss about algae. They are aquatic, eukaryotic, unicellular autotrophic organisms. Photosynthesis is carried out with the help of chloroplast present in the cell. Now, what is the meaning of the term photosynthesis? Photosynthesis is the process by which the plants produce their own food with the help of sunlight, water, carbon dioxide and chlorophyll. Examples of algae are Chlorella clamidomonas. Last, we are going to discuss about viruses. Viruses are extremely minute. They are found in the form of independent particles. Viruses survive only in living plant or animal cells and produce their own proteins with the help of host cell and create numerous replica. Viruses cause many diseases to plants and animals. Thank you.